Uh, good day, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to our second talk show. First, I would like to thank you all for commenting below uh, our first talk show. We have all received your opinion and we will try to improve day by day. Thank you very much. Um, okay, back to our talk show. My name is Calvin. I'm the host. And this second talk show is about how to study English efficiently and add a little bit of extra fun in it. Okay, so for our talk show today, we have three guests. Starting from the left side of the screen, uh, we have Laura, uh, this is Kevin, and this is Hannah. Club, please introduce yourself a little bit for the audience first, Laura, please. Okay. Hi, I'm Laura, and I'm 12, uh, I'm 22 years old, and I'm from Fuyin University. Hi, I'm Kevin. I'm from Wenzhou University and I'm studying Master in Teaching Chinese right now. Hi, I'm Hannah. Uh, I'm a foreign student uh, from Vietnam. I have been studying uh, in Fuyin University for three years and I'm very happy to be invited here for this talk show and I can use English like a foreign language to communicate with you guys. Okay, so we all have uh, some interest in English, right? So can I ask you a little question? Like, when did you start learning English? Mm. When I was eight, I learned English. So I was eight and in the cram school. How about you, Kevin? Uh, I started learning English when I was in kindergarten, so around five or uh, maybe five, four or five. <coughs> that early? Yes. No wonder. So good. Okay. Anna? I started English from sixth grade from secondary school. And in Vietnam, uh, uh, everybody usually starts learning English from sixth age. And if the uh, parents uh, have more money, can uh, let their children to learn more English. They can use English, uh, They can learn English uh, early. Yeah, this I can agree. From my situation, I also learned started learning English from uh, when I was five years old. But uh, from what I remember, when I first entered like uh, kind kindergarten or maybe elementary school, I stopped learning English for a while because I wasn't so interested in English, you know, I was young, I was stupid, so yeah. Um, so uh, today I have some paper and sadly only one pen, but uh, can you guys give, <coughs> can you guys uh, please each receive one paper and uh, can you guys just write down the, what do you think? is the best age to start learning English from. And uh, when you finish, please pass the pen to another pen. After that, we will uh, show the answers to the camera together. On the count three, one, two, three. Uh, that is very interesting. Hannah, why do you think uh, people should start learning English at such an early stage, three uh, years old. I used to visit to the kindergarten. Mm -hmm. uh, um, I saw a lot of kids. They started with uh, the native, uh, native teachers. Okay. Yeah, all the teachers speak English only and they can understand all the teacher says. Yeah. And the the children uh, they easily to learn a uh, new language and they can pick up the pronunciation uh, better. Yes. Uh, I have one question for you. Was the kindergarten in Vietnam or in Taiwan or in any other countries? In Vietnam. Vietnam. Yeah. Uh. Well, in my opinion, I think. Uh, at such an early stage in a non use uh, in an environment that is not like 
English is not the main language. Uh, we should we should uh, master our native language first. Right? I think they can uh, at home. My their parents mm -hmm. can talk to them uh, by Vietnamese, and then they go to school. They can uh, speak English and listen to English by the teacher. Right, your family is your greatest teacher, right? <laughs> yeah, that's a good opinion. Uh, how about you, Laura? You wrote 10, 10 years, years old. Ago. Can you tell me why? Uh, when I was eight, I, I learned in English, but I even can write a Chinese word in, in, in Chinese. I, I cannot write the Chinese. And when I was eight, I learned English in a in a cram school and the teacher's method is she told us to write down the notes and every day we write the notes but we just can we, we cannot write Chinese even Chinese so we don't we don't know the meaning so I think I didn't I didn't learn anything from from here there so I think 10 is more good for learning foreign language because we, we know about the native language and can use the native language to learn the foreign language. Yes, um, that, that's what I think because if we don't know our native language and how can we, like, for example, translate it into language, how can we know what uh, the words are, what the sub, what the object is and how to use something like a structural uh, sentence, right? But um, if if they are your teacher had a, an easier way, like a more interesting way to teach English, then would you think uh, yourself at eight years old can do a good job at learning English? I think if they have some activity to us and we can play and use the English with another like our classmate mm -hmm. will be good for for learning language because in the in a book we, we don't know the meaning but mm -hmm. if we play we know the actions and we can learn from our classmates. Uh, it's like body language, right? Yes, uh, like uh, body language, and we can know the meaning. Mm, yes. You can guess the meaning. Yes. So from what from what I know from your answer, the main factor is fun, right? Yeah. That teacher's method wasn't fun, and so you weren't interested in learning yes. language. Okay. Uh, thank you for your answer. And how you can you grow five years old? Yes, I wrote five because I think uh, at the age of five, our first language is already developed for quite a bit, for most of the parts. So uh, uh, to me, it's a good time. I'm not sure if it's the best, but I think it's a good time to start to get some inputs about from from uh, from English and also, but. At this age, at the age of five, I don't think we should start writing and reading. We should, oh. yes, focus more on listening and speaking. Yes, and instead. Maybe improve our vocabulary, right? Yes, uh, maybe not even vocabulary, just no. uh, the general uh, uh, concepts of English pronunciation, how the sounds, oh. how, how the English, how, how does English sounds like. So, but... You're saying it's basically just learn like simple actions, simple objects, simple words. Yes, very very simple. Like, uh, uh, I I guess everyone knows uh, when we were a kid, we were like A apple, B banana. So the alphabet, right? Yes, mostly the alphabet. But the point is not the written symbol of the alpha alphabet. It's uh -huh. the sounds. What uh -huh. all the alphabets make? Yes. Okay. But uh, I think in, in the process of learning how to speak, learning how to listen, you also have to know the word, right? To, like, like uh, 
Yeah, you have. You also have know how to write the word. Not write, but uh, you have to identify the word so you can read it properly. Right. Yes, but then you should have. Uh, just try to imagine when you are three or four when you are speaking Vietnamese. Mm -hmm. Do you know how to write Vietnamese at that time? No. Uh, no we no. didn't know how to write, but we can read some. Words. You can read some. Just some, just some, because uh, you know Vietnamese and English have the same like word, alphabet, alphabet, yes. right? So it's easier for us to identify some of the words. But I think in like Korean, Japanese, or Chinese, like you guys, the words are different, the alphabets are different, so it's quite hard for you to. Oh, we also to can identify. speak the Chinese mm -hmm. and know the meaning for the Chinese. Um, without knowing the characters. Yeah. 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 Okay. Characters. So basically, it's the two, two types of learning English, basically. Yeah. But I think three years on, uh -huh. this age is uh, the best suitable because they can use English like a secondary, uh, second language. Okay. Yeah. They think they can speak and listen uh, the daily life. Uh, Conversation and use the English like second language, not the not just vocabulary, not just number, like this. I think your opinion is, uh, was very interesting. Thank you for your ideas. Thank you for your comments. Um, there, but learning English is hard, right? Hard for some people, easier for some. No. Did, me. Me. <laughs> not Sorry. easy for me. The, did you guys in the progress of learning English uh, had some obstacles, had some difficulties, and how did you overcome that difficulty to uh, continue learning? Oh. Anna, can you answer the question? Uh, I told you before I started learning English uh, at sixth grade. So, uh, so uh, the teacher in in school, secondary school, just focus on vocabulary and grammar, and I have you, uh, you study the learn by heart the vocabulary and grammar every day, and I just learn by heart, and the meaning I I I didn't practice with the vocabulary with the word, so and uh, and. And next, next, next. Later, I have a lot of the synonym, the synonym vocabulary, and I start to confuse, and I feel ah, oh, and I don't want to study English. Uh, that was that wasn't fun, right? That wasn't effective in my opinion. It was like forcefully, like shove everything into the brain. Mm -hmm. So it, it 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 wasn't good. So how how did you overcome that? How did you? Uh, I I try to learn English English again. Uh, when I study uh, university in Vietnam, and I feel English is very important in the future. Uh, in the future, if you have English, you can easy easier to get job, get high salary. Yes. Yeah, and I. And I, I, I start to uh, uh, study English, but uh, I use another way. I will uh, study and relax. I will listen. Uh, I will listen to music, but English music. I use it in daily life, and I start play again and remember the vocabulary uh, by the game. It's easier for me. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. Uh, how about you, Laura? is about uh, listening because when I was in high school I didn't use I didn't learn English for the three years when I was in uh, high school but in the university I chose the, English the department. English department <laughs> so I have to this is a challenge for you, yes, right? Yes, it's, it's a challenge and I have to develop my my listening. Uh -huh. So, 
my method is I I try to start to watch the movie or series in English and every day when I was in when I was I, I was uh, have a meal and I will try to see a series for for the times mm. and I do this for one month. I think I I really have uh, improved. improved. Yes. Yeah, but uh, did you have fun though? I I I feel like your method was a little bit forceful, right? Yes, but I think I I choose the movie or the series is my interest uh -huh. for okay. the, for for watching and. It's good, and I choose some movies like because I want to. I want. Watch. I want to watch a okay. series, get up strong, and uh, and I try to see the series whole series, and I think my English is still is improved. Yes. Yeah, that, that is good. That is good because uh, movies and music and sometimes video games can teach us a lot. Right. Yes. Uh, how about you, Kevin? Uh, I <coughs> I've never felt like English has is an obstacle for me because it's it's never no 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 it's not like that. It's because English to me is never a subject. It's uh, uh, it's never a subject I have to learn. It's okay. something I like to learn. Just like when I was little, I want to play piano. So. Yeah, it's what I like. Okay. Yeah. So and during the process of my learning, I think uh, the teacher they use good teaching methods. Okay. So I never feel like I was forced to memorize any vocabulary or grammar. Everything just comes very naturally. And in fact, I I've never taken any grammar courses. So oh. I yeah I I didn't know some even some very basic. Uh, grammatical terms until I was in maybe high school. Oh. Yeah, oh. yeah. So English to me is just it's just in my life. It's and just in my life. How about the exam? English exam quiz? Yeah, they they we still have English quiz and exams, but uh, they don't ask you. For example, uh, he she it is third personal pronoun. You know, like they oh, don't. They, yes, they don't focus on the grammar. Yeah, they, they don't focus. Uh, maybe they ask us, uh, "How would you reply this question? Oh. How would you write oh, that answer?" It's, 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 yeah, it's very natural. But so, in my country, it really just focus on grammar and vocabulary. Yes, yeah, so I think that's a very, 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 very big difference. If I if I were uh, stuffed with a lot of grammars and vocabulary, then I won't think English oh. is fun. Yeah, so for you, English is actually fun. Yes, to me. Yeah. When I was little, I, I felt fun. So yes. basically, it was like a hobby of yours, right? To learn yeah, English, kind of. basically, right? Yeah. yeah. Yeah, but for a lot of uh, young Vietnamese. <laughs> yeah. A lot, a lot, I mean, a because lot. Because our uh, quiz exam uh, is so hard. Just focus oh, on grammar. Taiwanese is the, the same. Is the same? Yes. Oh. oh. So the main factor is still fun. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah, but uh, I think uh, learning English at the early stage is important, right? But yeah. um, as you guys also already know that a lot of people are living in a non-English environment. Uh, maybe, maybe. They have a motivation to like uh, start start learning English, but uh, as the time goes by, they don't use they don't get chance to use English that much, and they gradually lost their motivation. So, mm -hmm. what do you think uh, they they can do, or what will affect their mind to uh, maybe keep them interested in English? Uh, for me, I would say that uh, you have to connect your own uh, hobby with English. For example, I, uh, I, I say I 
English to me is is a fun thing to do, and also what another reason is because、uh, when I was a kid,、mm-hmm. I like to play video games,、yeah. but many of the video games are not translated into Chinese. Oh. Yeah, and obviously I don't know Japanese, so I can only play in <laughs> English. English. English yes. yes, that's the only way I can play the game.、Uh, and because I want to understand the story, I want to understand the equipment, the magics, everything. So I search for them. I translate and I search on the dictionary. I yes, that's one of the、uh, most effective way for me to learn English. And、uh, until now, I can still. I can still tell people how many words, like what words, I learned from video games. I still remember, like、uh, for example, crystal. Crystal、mm. is a word I learned, and also a lot of like uh, uh, armors and、mm. swords from、mm. like Middle Age. Yes, they are also part of the game, and I learned them very、uh, casually and naturally. Yeah, so I, I think if you encounter a word or a phrase. Many many times it could just like stick, stick yeah, stick, stick to you. Like you, you don't really、uh, like intentionally remember it or learn it. It just like come to you. Like, yeah, very natural, right? Enough inputs. Yeah,、wow, okay. Amazing. So, how about you, Laura? What do you think? I think I will use a app called、uh, is is like a voca- vocabulary. And you can, you can, like a game,、mm-hmm. and you choose the right vocabulary in the in the game.、Mm-hmm. And I think it's a good way to learn English or to improve your vocabulary. Yes. Okay. And you, Anna, what's your opinion? Ah,、uh, I feel um,、uh, we learn. Uh, English most effectively、uh, when my mind is at ease.、Uh, we apply the、uh, we apply the math、uh, the English method in、uh, like playing game.、Uh, we can review the old words and learn the new word and、uh, listen to music.、Uh, and uh, I think we、uh, don't push it and.、Uh, Make、uh, myself、uh, more faster. Yeah, I think. So this is what I've learned from your answers. For us Vietnamese, basically,、um, not for I mean for every English learner, the the, the most important thing is you find yourself、uh, at fun. When doing,、uh, when learning English, basically. So、uh, for Vietnam, our Vietnamese students, yeah,、uh, youngsters,、mm-hmm. I think the most effective way is when you come to school, you just focus on the gra- to improve the grammar and the vocabulary. But when you are off school,、uh, maybe try to、uh, merge learning English and your hobbies together. Such as maybe like you playing video games, you can learn a lot of English through video games, right?、Mm. Uh, for some other people, maybe they like English. Ah,、uh, I mean, sorry, they like music,、mm. so they can try to listen to、uh, US, UK music. Um, and maybe practice an instrument.、Mm. Practicing an instrument is requires a lot of、uh, requires a lot of effort too. So maybe you can.、Uh, Learn the instrument and learn the English related to that instrument. Also, it's it's also a very effective way. Personally, I use that method also.、Mm. So, yeah, I think that is、uh, the most important thing is to have fun while you're doing it. Okay, so so from what I've、uh, heard from all of your opinions so far, I think.、Uh, The method to make learning English more efficiently is to not force yourself into it. Like、uh, you have to、uh, let it come to you naturally. You have also you have to be entertained while doing it for the brain or our brain to absorb everything the most natural way.、Mm. Uh, yeah, I think that that is the most. I think the most important thing is to have fun while you're doing. 
everything, not just learning English. Because when you're fun, you can do. You have the motivation. You have the needs to complete the thing you are doing, right? Okay, based on the experience you guys share so far, uh, we have uh, a few ideas we have concluded from this talk show. First, uh, if you want to learn English more efficient, the most important factor is fun. You uh, you have to find yourself entertained while doing it, or you cannot uh, successfully. Learn English or do anything. Uh, second, don't let English be a job or subject you must complete. Let it come to you naturally, so that you you can uh, find it more fun. Okay. So that concludes our talk show for today. If you have any questions, please let us know. Let us know in the comments below. Uh, thank you, everyone, for coming here to us. Uh, thank you for inviting me to uh, this talk show. I feel very, uh, I, I feel uh, so happy to communicate with you guys, and I can have chance uh, to share my opinions about how to study foreign language effectively and uh, with more fun. Okay. Thank you. Goodbye. Bye. -bye. Bye, -bye. Bye, -bye. Bye, -bye.